If you go into the prison, it is a more disciplined society than the society you're seeing outside. I've never gone into the prison and come out without tears in my eyes because there is just pain in the air. My question is regarding mukti. I'm not understanding what we are taking when we are ask for mukti. Do you drink coffee every morning? Yeah, yes. Suppose uh, you can wake up in the morning and without coffee you can still be very alive, yes. one level of mukti. <laughs> Similarly, there are many compulsions. Once you come with a physical form, there are many compulsions. Some have multiplied their compulsions, some have subtracted their compulsions and brought it to the minimum. Compulsion means just this. Compulsion means something else rules you. But one thing that human being values most is freedom, isn't it? See, we… twenty percent of our time, resource and energies are spent in the prisons, both in Tamil Nadu and United States. If you go into the prison, actually it is a more disciplined society than the society you're seeing outside and more efficient society because uh, food comes bang on time, never late. Somebody opens the door for you, closes for you, somebody turns on the light for you, switches it off for you. It's actually very efficient. If you know, if you're very meditative, it's just great, this is what we have done to the prison. Now you see in Coimbatore Central Prison, you come and see, for 136 years of its history, every day there used to be somebody in the solitary imprisonment because of the mischief that they do inside the prison. But after we did these simple programs there, for many months nobody went into it. And in United States, if you look at it, even in this prison, even in Indian prisons, their nourishment levels are better in the prison than outside for most of them. Their discipline is better, they're well exercised, they're strong, agile, everything. Only thing is, if you walk into the prison, there is pain in the air. I've never gone into the prison and come out without tears in my eyes because there is just pain in the air. That's how important human freedom is. Most people may not be going anywhere, even in their house, they may not be going. But the simple thing that they are bolting the door, not somebody else, that's how much of a difference it makes. That's how important it is to be free. So this is the highest value. So, you… you know, in this culture everything is built in two days in a month you're not supposed to eat so that the compulsiveness of food will go away. Uh, one day or uh, actually twelve days in a year you're not supposed to sleep so the compulsiveness sleep will go away. Like this many things have been built in which we are just throwing it away without understanding anything about it. Today after billion dollar research happens and they come back to us, now they tell us, oh yes, 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 this is a great research. We have looked at life and said this is the way to exist various levels of compulsions, start working one at a time, become free, become free, become free. See, when you want to become free, toying with the idea of freedom is no good. What is binding you? That's what you need to break, isn't it? Huh? Yes. So what is binding you? What is compulsive in your life? That's what you need to attend to. Freedom is a fanciful idea. It will uh, <laughs> make you lala in your head, it's no good. What is binding you, if you work on that, if you get rid of it, you become free. If there is a next level of binding, let's break that. If there is a next level of binding, we'll break that. If you break all levels of… if you go on breaking one at a time, someday you will break all of them, isn't it so? Yes. Or you think it's infinite binding? No. No. Bondage cannot be infinite, freedom can be infinite, isn't it?